Kylie and Kendall Jenner are up against some serious claims right now after a factory has exposed them for refusing to pay the factory workers who make the clothes for their clothing line collection. I've got all the details about this story and I'm going to spill the tea for you guys right now on IO. If you don't want to miss another news story, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. But for now, let's talk about the Jenner sisters. Kendall and Kylie are under fire right now after reports surfaced saying that they have been refusing to pay the factory workers who create garments for their clothing line. Their line, Kendall plus Kylie, is owned by Global Brands Group and reports are saying they have refused to pay the factory workers since the COVID-19 crisis has caused a reduction in their sales. In March, the CEO of the group said, given the unpredictability of the situation, our retail partners have canceled orders and existing inventory and product in production may have no sell through. Consequently, we have no choice but to make the difficult decision to cancel all SS 2020 orders from all suppliers without liability. But recent reports from Remake have said that as a result of the company's decision, women who make the clothes have been left in a vulnerable position and are at risk of starving to death. It's literally that bad, you guys. The report included a statement from one of the garment workers in Bangladesh who said, at the factory gate, they told us to go away, that it was closed because of the virus. When they told us to go back home, I only had $6 left on me. The statement went viral and people are now taking it to social media to protest for the treatment of these workers and they are begging the Jenner sisters to take action. Kylie has her own skincare and makeup line and is still promoting her items and even selling masks for the virus. People are furious that she's ordering products for her personal company but refusing to push her clothing line and pay the workers that help their line even exist. Like realistically, your clothing line does not exist without the people making the clothing. We don't know how much involvement these girls actually have in the company. We just know that they are the face and the name and the model of the clothes. However, it is their name that is representing the brand. So regardless, it's just not a good look. It would be nice to see them still pay these workers, even if they aren't working. Cause no offense, but like we all know you have the money to do that. Kylie is a billionaire. So, or even if they paid the workers to like make fabric face masks and then like donate them to places and people in need, that would be cool. Let me know what you guys think about this. As of right now, both Kendall and Kylie have yet to comment on it. Hopefully with stores starting to reopen right now, the factories might reopen too, and then money can start flowing in for these factory workers. Kylie Jenner's new swimwear line is getting a ton of backlash from her own fans right now, with many taking to TikTok to complain about getting scammed. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Recently Recently, the 24-year-old billionaire business mogul Kylie Jenner released her new line of swimwear and was quick to promote it on her social media, resulting in many styles already selling out. Unfortunately, a lot of people are having buyer's remorse right now after receiving their orders. So far, TikTok specifically has been flooded with videos of people giving Kylie swimmer a bad review. Many are upset over the poor quality of the pieces and even are describing them as so thin that you can practically see through it. One reviewer said that she shelled out $250 on two sarongs, a pink two-piece, and a yellow cut of monokini, but but then said, I would show you these, but I literally can't because they are just not it. A lot of people took this opportunity though to promote brands that are much more reliable, brands that don't sell you paper thin material, brands like Target, for example. Going back to the two sarongs though for a moment, they were described as being too long, shapeless, and having far too much material. It basically looked like an oversized scarf. According to this TikTok user, the quality of the one piece was equally awful, if not more. She says in the video, don't even get me started on the quality of this one piece. <laughs> and at the end of her review, she ended up giving Kylie Jenner Swift swimwear line a 2 out of 10, specifically noting that the sizing was just not good, but on the bright side, she did like the adjustable bottoms. Many other people on TikTok reviewing this new swimwear line had similar experiences, with others expressing disappointment in the sheer material and the overall sloppy sewing. One woman said in her review, you need to be waxed, lasered, and if you have any hair down there, it's gonna show. I feel like this is sort of thing begins to happen to anyone that tries to do too many things at once. It's not like Kylie is on the ground floor of the factory checking every pair to make sure that it's top quality. She most likely just has a team of people that handle that for her. Although I do appreciate apps like TikTok for being able to warn other people who would be interested in getting the product, but they want that honest review before they just jump into it. Recently, Kylie Jenner fans took to TikTok to express how furious they were with her new line of swimwear. Many people harped on how the material felt weak and how the stitching was already coming apart when they opened 
open their delivery. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about more of Kylie Jenner's alleged scams. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And that out of the way, let's begin. Hundreds of Kylie Jenner fans blasted her swimwear line on TikTok, claiming that not only were the suits of poor quality, but many of them had major sizing issues. Not to mention they were being sold for $80 per item. $80 for poor stitching, paper thin see-through fabric, and ultimately items that weren't sized properly. One TikTok user said that she had purchased all of the one pieces from the collection and was shocked that every single piece did not meet her expectations. She goes on to say, I got an XL on this one, didn't go over hips, see-through. And the TikTok has been viewed over 630,000 times, liked by more than 35,000 people, and filled with comments like this one that say, Return them all, she could have done way better. With another adding a more interesting point saying, I mean, they all could be from Shein as far as we know. And if you don't know Shein, they're essentially a fast fashion site. So the prices are typically very low because of the poor quality that you're receiving in return. And on top of that, they've been accused of stealing from smaller designers before. They're basically Fashion Nova's direct competitor. The reason I bring this up is because in the past, Kylie has been known to have some eerily similar connections with her merch and other companies. For example, the scandal with her and ColourPop. When she released Kylie Cosmetics, her gloss collection sold out in minutes despite the multiple controversies surrounding her manufacturing process. As fans were hunting for cheaper alternatives to Kylie's lip gloss, they stumbled across ColourPop Cosmetics, and the similarities between the two products were very noticeable. During an exclusive interview with Refinery29, the ColourPop founder shed some light on why their formula was essentially the same as Kylie's. The duo that created ColourPop also created this company called Seed Beauty. Seed Beauty works as an umbrella company where in their laboratory they create cosmetic formulas for ColourPop as well as private label products. Kylie Jenner was brought into the Seed family as part of what they called an incubation program. She would have complete creative control over her product, but she could also use the lab and their company's existing resources. So perhaps the same thing has happened with her new line of swimwear. As I mentioned in my last video, I really doubt that she is on the ground floor of the factory watching them so every pair. It's most likely the same thing that happened with her lip gloss. She probably just went to a company, gave them some ideas of what she wanted. She doesn't need advertising, just her own Instagram feed, and boom, within a matter of time, her designs are up and ready to buy. It's also the problem with purchasing merch from influencers and celebrities, though. You're really only buying it because they are telling you that it's the hot new thing to own, or because you have some idea in your mind that you'll become just like them if you buy their clothes. Chances are they had almost no hand in choosing the quality of their product. They may have designed the logo or the style, but when it comes to quality, there are very few celebrities and influencers that are on the ground floor making sure that all of their products are of the highest quality, which you would think would be the case based on what she's charging for these swimsuits. Alas, it just doesn't work that way. If you're going to buy something from an influencer, I would recommend doing just a little bit of research into the product or at least checking out some reviews to make sure that it's money well spent. As for scamming her fans, I think her fans feel like they might have gotten scammed by this, but I, I don't believe Kylie had intentions of scamming her fans. I mean, why would she do that? That would be insane for her to knowingly produce clothing with awful quality to make a quick buck. Many of you in the comments of our last video about Kylie Jenner's scam getting worse didn't really agree with me when I said that she probably wasn't doing it on purpose. Well, we dug into Kylie's past of promoting products and it looks like you were right. Specifically, we're going to take a look back at one scam she definitely felt the heat for. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's begin. Back in November of 2020, fans of Kylie were convinced that she was trying to scam her millions of followers. In the past, she has occasionally partnered with big brands to hold contests that offer some kind of designer collection or item. However, just last year, she posted this photo of herself sitting next to eight Louis Vuitton bags. In the since deleted caption, she claimed that one winner could take home all of the designer bags and $70,000 in cash, all loaded onto a prepaid Visa card. The comment section, though, was filled with people saying things like, does anyone actually ever win these things? And my personal favorite, girl, this looks like a scam. Here's the weirdest part though, in order to enter this contest, fans had to go to Scott Disick's Instagram page and follow every account that he was following, then comment on Kylie's post and tag their friends. I mean, damn, that seems like an all day activity. How badly do you want these handbags that you're willing to go follow Scott Disick? I mean, I bet many of her fans saw that portion of the contest and just said, nope, not today, Satan. Not to mention the details of this little contest didn't really add up. Unless she's putting multiple prepaid Visa cards that add up to $70,000 that she was talking about, there's no way that you can put 70K on a prepaid Visa. I think they have like a max limit of $20,000. I mean, maybe Kylie has a connection at Visa who hooked her 
partner up with this exclusive car, but I really doubt that. Plus, when you really read the wording of this caption, it does not feel like it was coming from Kylie at all. It definitely felt like her Instagram had been just handed over to some social media marketing person that she hired for this contest. It's a pretty scummy way to get more followers if you ask me, especially if no one even won the contest. Kylie already has 274 million followers on Instagram, so I wonder how many more of these follower scams she needs to do. It's clear though that she's trying to build an empire similar to Kim Kardashian. I mean, she's got her cosmetics line, her swimwear, and even started Kylie Baby, which is supposed to be clean, vegan, and conscious baby care as described by their Instagram bio. Kylie Jenner is finding herself back in the news today after facing backlash for posting some very disturbing images of her coated in blood while pregnant. What was meant to be some sort of Halloween photo shoot to promote her new cosmetic line has now turned into claims that she's worshiping the devil, among other things. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And that out of the way, let's begin. The 24-year-old makeup mogul is learning from the rest of her family that all publicity is good publicity. While promoting her Nightmare on Elm Street collection that features Freddy Krueger-inspired makeup, Jenner shocked and angered a lot of her fans. Kylie is expecting her second child with Travis Scott, and because she is expecting another child, this enraged people on the internet even more. Her line is supposed to drop today, and like I said earlier, she dropped a bunch of photos on her Instagram that have been described as disturbing. In the caption, she writes, My Kylie by Nightmare on Elm Street collection launches tomorrow, 3 p.m. With Khloe Kardashian adding support in the comments and saying, All hail the queen, my beautiful baby. She has been promoting this new Halloween line for a while now with various posts that all carry this heavy red theme. It all started with a promo video about six days ago that shows fake blood washing over Kylie's body while one, two, Freddy's coming for you plays in the background. The conspiratorial comments started really flowing on that video specifically and just carried over to her latest post. For example, the comments on that video said, this is sick and that's not a compliment, with another adding adrenochrome. Other than these types of comments that think that every celebrity is part of the Illuminati, the rest of her comments seem to be pretty split on the matter. I saw many supportive comments on Jenner's newest collaboration, but there was an equal amount of people that really did not care for it. Some called it disturbing, while others said that it was so horrifying that she needed to repent. A lot of people thought that it was distasteful though because she was pregnant, which really became another focus of the backlash. One person wrote about how if someone was recovering from a miscarriage, they would find this very daunting to look at, with another adding that on Mental Health Awareness Day, this was the last thing that they wanted to see in their feeds. In all honesty though, I think the more attention that we give to things that we don't like, the more the algorithm will just show you things that upset you. The internet and social media have so much more to offer you, but try telling that to a bunch of angry people in the comment section of a celebrity. I don't know about you, but I feel like these people's energy could be spent in much better ways, and spent somewhere else for that matter, you know, instead of just commenting on things that they hate all the time. If she did this photo shoot randomly, I could see why people would be upset, but it's a promo for a Halloween-inspired drop. So really, it's on par with the exact imagery that she was going for. Celebrities are always going to be inflammatory in this day and age because they know that controversial things equal mass attention. I mean, we're talking about it right now, but the only reason I bring this up is to send another message that if you don't like something, just move on from it. We don't need to comment our negative feelings on every single thing that upsets us. Right now, out of all of Kylie's promotions for her new cosmetics line, these disturbing photos have been liked by 9.8 million people, so she must be doing something right. 